Oh, I've been tagged by Cathy Anxiety to um, answer 14 questions about weight loss. Um, 14 questions is quite long and like she said in her video it might be a long one. And seeing as I do have a tendency to um, ramble, um, it's a good thing that the 15 minute cap has been lifted off this channel. So this might be a long one so go get yourself a drink and some popcorn and come back. I'll wait for you. I'm only kidding. <coughs> um, Kathy's channel and video are linked in the doobly-doo down there, so um, you might want to go there first. I have no idea who started this tagging thingy off. Um, but I suppose we should get started, Santa's so have already been talking for a minute and haven't actually done anything yet. Okay, question one, when did you start gaining weight? Technically, I started gaining weight when I was born. Um, that was when my weight gain began. Um, I was something like, I don't know, four or five pounds when I was born. And uh, I've done nothing but get heavier and heavier for the last 33 and a half years. Um, <laughs> that's stupid, I'm sorry. Um, six years ago, I got sacked from a job and took a year off. And in that year, didn't do much. And that's, I, I think, is the, the, the point where I really started to gain weight, especially especially down there. Um, I drink a lot of tea, obviously, and beer, and fatty, greasy foods, because they're quick and tasty. Everything that's bad for you tastes good, so what can you do about that? Um, so that's probably when I started to gain weight at a point that I didn't like, because I became less active, and my diet hadn't changed. <sighs> Sorry about that, that's something on my keyboard. Crumbs, probably. From that big pack of Doritos I had last night. Um, so yeah, I probably started gaining weight about six years ago. And it hasn't really stopped. It's been a slow build-up. So yeah, six years ago. Question two, what is your heaviest weight? I'm at my heaviest weight now. Um, we weigh ourselves in Britain in stone. And I'm 13.2 stone. Um, but I had it written down here somewhere. I think it's like 184 pounds on I am now. Yeah, 184 pounds. Um, that's my heaviest weight. I'm sorry, I'm ignoring you. Um, that's, that's, been, that's been my heaviest at the moment. 184 pounds. Um, so, yeah. What diets have you been on? I don't do diets. I've never done a diet. Um, mostly because I sometimes can't be bothered to do them. Mostly, I mean, most diets. Uh, no, I don't do diets. I tried to do a um, a thing this February. Yeah, we called it Get Fit Feb, and we tried to give up five things, and I've only really kind of given up three of the five. I think three of the five. Yeah, three of the five. And I w I got sick in the second week, and that kind of I just stopped exercising. All just all together, just stop doing it. So, um, yeah, that's how things go, I'm afraid. Uh, what is your goal, a number size or a goal on the scale? I really don't know. I mean, like Kathy says, she, she doesn't pay attention to scales, and to be honest, neither am I. Um, I will be happy when I'm visually happy with what I see in the mirror. Um, I'm not a vain person. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not a vain person, not at all. Um, my armpits smell of onions for some reason. I don't really eat onions. But you didn't need to know that. I'm just messing around with my Gorilla Pot, sorry. Um, no, I, 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 I don't really pay attention to clothing size. Um, I usually wear a, a large... A medium's a bit tight in the chest area because I've got I've got man boobs now. Um, a Folsom pair of fun bags, but I I will stop gaining weight in terms of muscle mass when I'm happy with what I see in the mirror, and when I can stand butt naked in front of the mirror and kind of not be disgusted by myself. 
Uh, what is your favourite food? Fish and chips, it has to be. Or steak, bacon. Fish and chips with steak and bacon. And cheesecake. And pizza. And uh, tiny cheese Doritos. And a kebab. I don't really have a favourite food. I have lots of foods that I like. Um, and I'm not willing to give up any of them, but I am willing to reduce the amount of intake. I mean, I haven't had a kebab for months anyway. Um, I haven't really had fish and chips for a really long time, so I know I can go a long time without them. But it's nice to have them every now and then, just so I can remember how good they taste. <laughs> uh, where are we? What food will you not give up? All the ones I mentioned in the last question. Like I said, I'm not giving up any foods. Um, but I will reduce the amount of intake. Or at least try to. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, a friend of mine, he's gonna, I'm going to flash him going to his gym later on today. Um, which I'll talk about in my, my vlog tomorrow. My vlog is on my other channel, which again is, is linked in the doobly doo down there. Um, he told me to, to reduce milk, not to drink as much milk as before. So if, when I have um, breakfast, not to have milk with breakfast, but to use water instead. I personally think it'll taste like shit, but you know, he laughed when I asked him that. So it probably does taste like shit. So milk, obviously, is going to reduce. Saturated fats, all that kind of stuff is going to be reduced. Um, so it's, it's not so much of me of giving up stuff as much as it is me reducing the amount of that stuff that I eat and increasing the amount of healthy food that I eat. Um, I do eat healthy food, but not as much as I eat tasty food. Cause that's how I judge it. It's healthy and then there's tasty. Um, so it's reducing the amount of tasty and increasing the amount of healthy. I think that's how it works. Or so it should be. And I'm going to increase my water intake as well. <sighs> how long have we been going so far? We're at seven and a half minutes, and Kathy's video was eight minutes long, so we're, we're only halfway through, and I've already matched. Because I've been messing around. I told you I ramble. Okay? You were warned by this. And there's no 15 minute cap on this bloody video either, so I could go on for a long. Yeah. Where were we? Um, what food you not give up? How do you reward your accomplishments? Well, she said, Kathy said that the reward is what I would then see in a the mirror. So in a year from now, if I look in the mirror and I go to myself, then that's my reward. My reward is is my own well-being. At the end of the day, um, I will be healthier. I won't feel like crap as much. I won't be as sluggish in the mornings. Um, and I will basically be at a parade around in the sunshine. I live in the UK, so there's not really that much sunshine. There's like one huge cloud over this country right now. But I will be at a parade around in my shorts. You know, hey, look at my muscles. I'm not that vain though, so I probably won't do that. I'll think of something. I think I'll, I'll think of a way to um, accomplish. I was about to say accomplish my rewards, reward my accomplishments, probably by. Having a kebab, maybe. And then going to the gym for three days to burn it off. Uh, <laughs> uh, what will you do? What will you do at goal? What will I do at goal? At goal. What will I do at goal? Should that be what will you do when you reach your goal? Just, you know. What would I do at goal? To answer that question, literally, it would be to stop the football from going in it. What would I do when I reach my goal? I don't really have a goal. I don't know what my goal is. Um, I don't know what my ideal weight will be. I don't know what my ideal shape will be. I don't know how big or how much muscle mass I want to put on. Again, it just when I, when I get to that point where I look at myself and I'm happy with what I see, it's just a matter of maintaining that. Um, yeah, so w when I reach my goal, I'll just maintain that goal. And if that means reducing the amount of times I go to the gym and just continue to eat healthy. 
I mean, he doesn't want to be healthy. Uh, what diet or plan are you now following? Um, I'm not really following any diet plan. Um, the plan I'm going to follow is whatever my friend tells me to do, essentially. Um, he obviously... He, he, he used to be big. Bigger than me. He's always been bigger than me anyway, but he used to be fat. Um, and you see him now... And he is built like a brick shit house. I mean, he's just... He, obviously, he's been doing something over the last couple of years that is, that is right. Because he's, he's lost so much fatty weight and gained muscle mass. And, and he looks amazing. That sounds really gay. Um, so, yeah. I mean, I'm going to trust him. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to hand over my body to him for a year. That sounds gay again. Man, this has come up really homoerotic. No, I have to go to the gym with him later on. I'm not going to be able to look him in the straight face. Anyway. Um, he's obviously... He's asked me to stop drinking as much milk. Um, he told me not to run. Because he told me that running... When you start to get out of breath... And of course you hit that wall... And your body starts to eat itself. And of course it will eat the stored energy... Which is your fat. But it also takes energy from your muscles. So it strips your muscles as well. This is what he's told me. So he said, what you need to do is go for a walk that gets you ever so slightly out of breath, and that's it. Just get your heart rate going. So I'm going to do a four-mile walk every day. It takes about an hour. I'll walk in that direction for... Look how flabby that is, look, chicken wings. Hey. Walk in that way for half an hour, and then turn around and come back. That's technically about four miles, because I walk about four miles an hour. So the plan I'm following is whatever Lee tells me to do. Um, favorite body part um, on women boobs stomach ass thighs inner thighs neck earlobes that's weird that bit behind the ear tongue lips eyes my favorite body part um, is probably my pancreas only because I can't see it. That's a lie, that's a joke, I'm sorry. My favourite body part. Favourite body part. I should really have read these questions and come up with answers first, because how long have we been going? We've been going for 13 minutes nearly. Favourite body part. Favourite body part. Favourite body part. I think hands are quite interesting. All the little bones. No muscles in your hand at all. All the muscles are up in your forearms. These are all tendons. Favourite body part? I'm not going to get vulgar and say, you know, my doobly-doo. But, um... I don't really have a favourite body part. I like me. Uh, what are your current non-scale goals? Non-scale goals? Like I said in the previous questions before... That just happened. That's weird. Um, I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. Uh, current non-scale goals. Like I said in the questions before, my, my, my goals are simply to get into a shape I like. That's it. I don't have a weight goal or anything like that or a clothing size or any, any, any of that crap. I don't care about that stuff. My goal is to be happy with what I see in the mirror. And I look in the mirror pose and go mm. at that stage I'll be happy then it's a matter of maintaining that what makes losing weight hard for you um, check question 6 what are your favourite foods fish and chips kebabs Doritos tangy cheese Doritos those little Chicago mini pizzas they taste like shit but they're quite tasty that doesn't make sense they smell like shit when you cook them, but they taste pretty good. No, they, they taste like shit. Not like the first time, they taste like crap. But they're easy to make. Two and a half minutes in a the microwave, they're done. I'm revealing far too much about myself. Okay. 
to be serious on this question 13 what makes losing weight hard for you and that is purely willpower um i've told you a few times in this vlog already that i'm i'm not vain really in any way um as i sit here in a in a vest with a, I've got, I've got a nice big there's this big scar there and that's a nice little spot that built up on the skull which i pick pick out every now and then and i've got the spots over here and I've probably got a greasy face, but you can't really know it. But I've got spots on my face. I have no vanity. And having no vanity means that I usually don't give a crap about what I look like. Um, the only reason I actually want to get fit is because I don't want to look like my old man. Um, there are some things about that that I don't have a choice. The hereditary stuff, like the stuff going on up here right now. Um, but big belly, skinny legs, no. I see that and I don't want to be that. So my biggest motivation is to not become my old man. Um, but my biggest weakness is the fact that I really don't have any vanity. And that not having any vanity means I really don't have any motivation to do this. Um, for this to work, it has to become a habit. It has to be something that I just do every day because it's just part of my everyday life. It's like you have your morning rituals, you wake up, you go to the shower, you throw on some clothes, you have your breakfast or your coffee or whatever it is. Just these things that you do in the morning before you do everything else it has to become part of that. So yeah, my biggest problem with losing weight is motivating myself to do it. Maybe I should take a picture of myself standing butt naked, blur out the, um, the giblets and... Um, make a big full size version of it and say this is what you look like now if you look like this in a year you're a failure no, that's too harsh pay no attention to that would you ever consider weight loss surgery no I wouldn't um, I don't I mean I've always felt like weight loss surgery is for lazy people, I guess. I mean, Kathy said in her video that unless she needed to be lifted out of her bed and you know, on a forklift truck, I mean, that's kind of the extreme scale, right? I've, I've, I've known people who've had surgery before, and you know, some people it works and some people it doesn't. They get that whole stomach uh, staple thing done, or the gastric bypass. I just picked that scab there, look. See, on the bang. I'm, I'm showing you my scabs on, on the internet. Look, there's a scab right there, look. Scabby! I would never have surgery uh, for it. And I think that again goes into the whole vanity thing. I just don't have any vanity, so I'd never see... I, could, I couldn't justify paying that much money for something like that. Um, I was at one point going to fix this. Um... But, again, I thought, why? Why do I need to bother with that? What I'll do is just shave all my hair off. Because shaving my hair off is a damn sight cheaper. But, yeah, I just wouldn't... I don't think I could go through with it, to be honest. Eye correctional surgery, maybe. Although they put that thing across your, the lens and they slice the lens. You, you're awake the whole time, you know, sort of a clockwork orange kind of thing. Not sure I could deal with it. So, no. The answer to question 14, no, I would not have or even consider weight loss surgery. Wow, we're at 20 minutes nearly. 19 minutes and 5, 6 seconds. I've really made this a long effing video. Um, I hope it's been entertaining. Um, because, you know, we all like to entertain. Otherwise, why would we make these videos? Have I been entertaining? If I've been entertaining, leave a comment. If I haven't, then don't leave a comment. And I'll... Mm. Just, yeah. I haven't really figured out who I'm going to tag. I'm going to have to go through... Should I even tag anyone? Do I care about tags? I don't normally tag people. Tag your it!